Today, on this episode of Sigler Interviews, we will meet Zach Jones, a diocesan priest. We will learn about vocation, preparation, formation, daily life, and challenges that they face. I hope that you, the viewer, will learn valuable information on this theological subject. Hello, I'm Charlie Sigler from Sigler Interviews. Today we'll be interviewing our good friend, Dr. Diocesan priest, Zach Jones. As a kid, I never really thought or considered joining the church or priesthood until college. So as I kept continuing to attend church and spend more time with God in the chapel, in the chapel, I would always enjoy it more and more as I went. I noticed how all the community in the church was very happy and jubilant with their relationship with God. As I saw this, I became more and more encouraged to dedicate my life to God and His work. One night I had a dream and it was God calling me to join the priesthood and help fulfill his plans on earth. After this, as I woke up, I realized what God wanted for my life and what my purpose is here on earth. Wow, that is truly amazing. Can you tell us any detail, details of what it's like to train for the priesthood? Yes, I can. Uh, there are many prerequisites to becoming a priest and much preparation with education and discipline. You must be firm with your decision and dedicated to your relationship with God. You have to be educated, baptized, be a Catholic male. You will need a Catholic education with a seminary degree to be a man of prayer and leader of the faith. Then pastoral formation is required where the man practices skills required for the ministry. Finally, personal formation is required, which is a component of reflection and understanding. After all of this preparation and training, the said person will be an official member of the diocese. Oh my goodness! That's a lot of training. I had no idea that being a priest was so rigorous and demanding. Could you please tell us about the ordination ceremony after you had been accepted? Yes, Into the priesthood? Yes. <laughs> Ordained. The main part is where the bishop who ordains you lays his hands on you like this. Like that? Like this. Can you do it again, please? Like this. <laughs> Are you hearing this, ladies and gentlemen? Like this. This. Symbolizes his coming upon the person, setting him apart from others with special characteristics built for preaching the word of God. The bishop will say, the father anointed our Lord Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. May Jesus preserve you to sanctify the Christian people and to offer sacrifice to God. After this, the priest is officially ordained and a member of the priesthood. Amazing. Thank you. It must be a very special moment to be ordained. Yes, it in is. In the Catholic Church. Yes. It was the best feeling of my life knowing that I am now fully connected and in harmony with God. Do you think you could go over what it's like for the daily routine as a priest. Yes. In the Catholic Church. Yeah, of course. No questions asked. Uh, many people think that priest life are boring and different from normal lives. And in reality, this is not the case. Like, it's not the case. We wake up at normal times like normal people and might go on a run or get some coffee. What at time is normal time? Like seven. Okay, just okay. Yeah. Or get a coffee at Starbucks. We say morning prayers every morning to keep a good habit of praising the Lord and thanking Him. Then we go to the office where we work and we usually have to serve a Mass. After this, we may take hospital visits to the sick, help out with school children, or help hold confession for others. We also take phone calls, catch up on paperwork, and have meetings with others just as normal 9 to 5 day workers would. After our day of work, we might go to the gym, go eat dinner with some friends, or anything that a normal person would do during their day. As it turns night and it's time for bed, we will say a night prayer and go to bed. I didn't know that your lifestyle was so similar to mine. It's amazing how we can have one of the most connected relationships with God. 
yet still live their dear life as a normal person. Indeed. In the Catholic Church. Indeed. As a priest, do you have any role models? I like role models by J. Cole. In all seriousness, I would like to continue with the discussion. I apologize. Forgive me. In the Catholic Church. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fond of the ideals of St. Francis. I like, like him. I also like animals. He also built numerous amounts of churches, spreading the word of God. He founded the Men's Order of Friars Minor, the Women's Order of St. Clair, the Third Order of St. Francis. Do you face any challenges that you face in your daily life? Throughout my life, I've been faced many challenges on the road. Many priests are dependent on to tackle any spiritual issues others have, and they have a lot of pressure on them. We must be chaste at all times and need to control our mindset for anything sexual. Many priests also face issues with time as they are very busy. They may not be able to spend much time with their families as they dedicate their life to God. Through these struggles, though, we are able to find true happiness with the love of God. Fascinating. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for being on the show. You're welcome. It was nice talking to you. It was also nice talking to you. Today on Singular Interviews, we gain valuable insights on the life of a priest. This shows how just like us, they live normal lives, and we never know if just like them, we can be called to the priesthood by God. Through the relationship with God, we should look up to them and try to emulate their love and compassion for others. Hello, I'm Nicholas Favoriti, and I helped write the script and record it. Okay. Hello, I'm Zachary Jones, and I'm the diocesan priest. <laughs> How many churches did you say, Bill? <laughs> Four? I do not I thought we were going to say numerous. Well, I said numerous. I thought we were say That's that. not a number. Okay, <laughs> just start with your face. Amazing. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Edit this part out, just keep going. I go here. I like him. 